Hey, what's going on YouTube? I am back with another story time. If you do enjoy these story times, please like, subscribe, ring that bell. In any case, this is the time I had a house party and it went wrong. Oh god, it went it was not my best moment. So I had a buddy in college. I just uh well, it was kind of like a high school buddy who I hadn't seen in a bit. And then we just, we're, we, we, you know, I went to the local community college and lo and behold, he was going to the community college as well. And uh, we ran into each other just by happenstance. And just by that sheer, you know, running back into each other, it, it just, you know, it was like, you know, meeting a buddy you haven't seen in a long time. So we ended up actually partying a fair bit, went to a nice handful of house parties. I may have a story time or two in the future involving uh, this guy with other house parties. But this was the one that was hosted at my place. So that was one of the things I, I hosted, not many, but a couple parties at uh, my house in this one. You know, everything seemed smooth. We, we, you know, we had things pretty organized. We had a, you know, a certain set list, set of people, you know, specifically from, you know, people that we knew from the community college, from the other local uh, college there. And it was, it was all people of age, pretty chill that we, you know, we literally had written out like a list of people. Um, and it ended up being like probably, uh, probably like 20 about 20 people i think total yeah roughly give or take a couple people but um so it was it wasn't like some crazy hundred person house party but it was a decent size you know house party uh maybe there was a few more it was, i don't know it, it was it was in that range of 20 people maybe a little bit more than that but uh basically you know we 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 got real organized we we you know basically accident proof the the house as best to our uh, you know abilities at the time looking at everything as we're going through there was like coffee mugs on the wall there's just, my folks had this giant coffee mug collection and so we we spent a bunch of time carefully taking anything like that any ceramics anything that drunken stumbling around might damage and so we spent a good like couple hours prepping my house for safety's sake, <laughs> you know, making sure nothing breaks, you know, being very cautious about it. And, um, you know, the, the night comes along, we, we get a table going in the kitchen for beer pong. We got some nice music, you know, I had a buddy bring a hookah. So he had a hookah going in the living room. It was, it was pretty solid. And the, the nice thing about this, this house, the way the, the sound is, it, it insulates the sound really well. It actually separates sound from room to room really well. So it actually, you know, you go to the, the kitchen, it's like a totally different vibe, beer pong competing you go in the living room it's like you know music blasting out of the the speakers with with hookah going and, and sort of other hanging out and you can't hear any of this from the outside i mean just the way it is you can blast speakers i mean maybe if you have an actual pa system or something with blasting you probably could but really you could play some loud music and nothing no one's going to be the the wiser so everything's going good. We're drinking, we, you know, getting all liquored up, you know, having my, my, my little bit of weed. Lo and behold, some, uh, you know, some more, some more people stumble in and I, you know, I'm not, you know, kind of realizing it at the time, but these are not people that were part of that list of people that we set. We didn't, it wasn't really, didn't realize it until they're like already sitting on the couch. And then it was, uh, basically like oh okay uh these these new people and then it ends up being that my buddy's uh sister from high school which you didn't realize i mean they said they were from college and whatnot um should have known better but you know being drunk you make kind of stupid judgment calls um we didn't realize it quite until later, but yeah, basically his sister from high school invited some of her friends over to this house party. So we had another basically 10 more, eh, maybe not 10, between five and 10. It was definitely more than five, but I don't know if it was 10. Basically high school kids, which we didn't know at the time, show up and uh, lo and behold, they're 
um, but it's us, you know, drinking some booze and partying along. And they're mainly sticking out to like the living room area and the outside deck, which that's part of why we didn't realize it at first because I, I was playing beer pong games a bunch and whatnot. So it wasn't until like the third time coming back in the living room trying to take a you know a breather and whatnot um, and listen to some music and relax, I realized the guy sitting next to me is not someone I recognize. And so that's when they kind of figure out that, hey, you know, there's some new people in this house and, um, you know, everything seemed fine. You know, everything seemed chill or, you know, happy to try to, you know, at first they were respectful. So it seemed like, okay, I guess whatever, sisters, she's vouched for them, whatever. You know, like, let's, uh, let's, there have already been here a bit. Let's keep it low key as we can. So we're, you know, we're, we're just kind of keeping on, keeping on. Lo and behold, you know, after a couple more hours of just, you know, partying, having fun, and, it, you know, it's probably like one in the morning at this point, maybe 1.30. Uh, what you didn't realize is these high school kids got fucking blackout drunk like blackout drunk like they're just dead in the eyes you know when someone's really blackout drunk and you can see it's like they're looking through you that's where these people were and apparently one of these high school kids got it in their brain somehow which she she was only like friend really friends to a couple of these people which we we were under the impression that she actually knew these people a lot better than what she was leading on until later so um what ends up happening is uh this one guy gets into a blackout rage fit thinking that somehow she he is dating this 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 dude's sister from high school and that the another friend of ours from college was somehow like hitting on her or something was was like putting the moves on which is not the case at all that's that's just completely not the case this dude had he had a lady he had a, he had someone who was who was like you know pregnant at the time like it just it, it, there was no way we all knew it's like we were with this guy a lot of the time and and like this girl she was like i don't know like it became this whole argument of like i barely know who you are i'm not I, i'm not your girlfriend i don't know what's going on and i you know i wasn't there at the time but apparently they were screaming up and down the block like about this like top of their lungs like i it's baffling like just just the type of blackout rage uh, apparently these people were in so apparently they were doing this for a while outside i couldn't hear anything because the sound is all insulated i'm blasting music as it is suddenly as i'm hanging out in the living room these high school kids storm in the front door screaming and pissed and la -da 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 -da, like they're just just out of their mind drunk this one just this one dude so he comes in screaming yelling at the dude he thinks for whatever reason just innocent bystander really just in his brain he thinks is hitting on his girlfriend who is not actually his girlfriend actually barely knows and just gets into this screaming match and to me i'm you know i'm pretty non-confrontational person i'm not trying to get into fights i'm not trying to do anything Frankly, I should have. I should have beat the shit out of this kid and just kicked him out. Like, I should have held my own a lot better. But frankly, at the time, I was like, I barely knew what was going on. So I was kind of like in between, kind of like keeping him off as he's yelling. I'm like barely even telling what's going on because he's yelling stuff that just seems incoherent because it doesn't even make any sense because I'd been hanging out with this dude and he didn't do any of the stuff this dude was claiming. And we're just trying to like kind of get a sense of things. And all of a sudden, like as I'm sort of like holding him back, he gets around, he's able to like get around me and start fighting this dude. He starts punching this dude. And not only that, all of his other drunk buddies come in and they start just trying to beat the shit out of this dude. They don't even know. And so we're, we're basically doing our best to try and pull these people off. There's actually, so where are the living room is actually on the second floor and there's stairs that would go down. And they were actually, there's, there's this kind of railing that goes around it. And they were 
pushing. That's where they were fighting. They actually, the dude was kind of to his back on this railing, and they're, they just start wailing on this dude, and it's... We were just basically doing our best to like pull these people off and, and try and kick them out, but it was it was kind of already too late at that point. They were just he ended up on the on the ground and they were kicking him and punching him and just, just beating the shit out of him and it would just made no sense. It was like what the fuck? And so we finally, you know, were able to like pull him off, get him out. You know, the girl that invited him was like crying and just freaking out, especially for how fucked up this guy was. I mean, it was bad. It was bad. Bruise all over. He had a he had a bump on his head that was like a grapefruit. Like he probably should have gone to the hospital. But he was just like I think he ha he he probably did have a concussion. But he um, he just tried to chill out, sit on sit on the couch, and and we just kind of after they left and, and and just dipped out. We that's when we really tried to like trace our steps back to be like, what the fuck just happened? And th and then that's where we discovered, oh, some of these people weren't exactly. They were more like friends of friends. And then, uh, oh, oh, it's you know, it's these are these are actually you know these are all high school kids and not like, you know, people from college like the they claimed when they first walked in. And it just it just started to kind of make somewhat more sense although it still seemed really dumb and ridiculous the way they of course the way they acted because it's just like it was just some blackout drunk rage essentially and uh this this poor guy just got the shit beat out of him for quite literally no reason so we we pretty much after that the party's clearly done <laughs> so we end up uh you know trying to clean up lo and behold somehow the room that had all those mugs we put up got locked <laughs> so we're like freaking out at this point you know transitioning and trying to clean up this mess oh that doesn't even count for oh i totally forgot for him getting the shit beat out of him now mind you that also means a lot of blood on the uh the carpet and whatnot there was also that hookah had gotten knocked over so there was burnt charcoal you know the melting a bunch of the carpet as well as we were you know so we had to clean up a lot of that stuff uh you know hydrogen peroxide does wonders for cleaning carpet with blood but aside from that so this um door got locked so we basically ended up having to break into the window we actually like we spent probably like 30 45 minutes doing our little almost like we're jimmying a lock out of a car but it was a uh, it was a little window latch and we finally 45 minutes got that open so we finally started to get things cleaned up and whatnot i don't think we had even finished till God, it was like three, four in the morning, I think, when uh, when it was uh, pretty much cleaned up. I mean, it didn't. Once we got that unlocked, it really didn't take that long to clean up. I mean, I gave the kitchen floor a mopping. We we cut the chunks out of the carpet that were burnt. I did my whole little hydrogen peroxide trick on the blood, and we pretty much just then tried to relax the best we could, uh, and just kind of soak that and be like, man, we really need to be more careful with parties. It's insane. We can't be letting kids like this. And that was kind of the, her learning experience. Like, nah, she's not allowed to invite anyone ever over to a party ever again. That was basically the rule. She's 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 nixed from any invitations uh, as far as any parties. Like, she was just, it was, at that point, it's like, she just can't be trusted to bring anybody over because it basically resulted in someone getting the shit beat out of them. Oh, now not only this, but like I said earlier, this dude had a, a girl who was uh, pregnant. Crazy thing is, that was the first thing, you know, his kid actually saw. Because uh, that very next morning, uh, she gave birth to his, uh, I think it was a uh, son. So he had to go to the hospital and do that, go through that whole labor process, being with her, looking jarringly fucked up like really bad like should they just they should probably be giving him medical attention but uh yeah it, it, he ended up i mean it was a weird twist of emotions i imagine you know having to deal with this whole party thing and then being there you know to see your kid get born 
Uh, I'm sure it sort of turned things around mentally a little bit, but dang, that's that's quite the sight for your kid to to see. You like that, the first thing they see. Well, I don't know, are they, do they even see that first uh, chunk of time? I don't know, but regardless, that was the house party that went wrong. It was, it was real fucked up and it was a real learning experience of how people act on booze, especially young kids who, you know, you're living in, this was in Colorado, so high altitude, altitude does affect alcohol, the way it reacts to you. I mean, drugs in general, altitude fucks with your brain, you know, lack of oxygen. So you talk about lack of oxygen and then you add booze to that, that's not gonna help in any way, shape or form. So it's, it's something to be careful about. And uh, yeah. Be careful about who you invite to your parties. Uh, in any case, if you do enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, ring that bell. You have a great rest of your day.